Hey y'all, this October is great. Come to you once again on this Tuesday. Boy, I don't know what's going on today. A lot of stuff, you know, some things I guess I missed yesterday, but you know, hip hop is going through something. All right, nearly blasted by St. Lunatics rapper after allegedly dissing him. My career was writing you a career. All right, let's read the caption. St. Lunatics member Ali is speaking out about Nelly music career again. As previously reported, Ali alleged that Nelly hustled their group and abandoned them after he got a deal with Universal. I heard that about another member, the one that used to wear a mask. He used to be mad. Nelly went on to deny those claims, but now Ali is claiming he wrote for the Hot and Her rapper. Reportedly, Ali says he was the ghostwriter for Nelly's album, Country Grammar, which is now Diamond Certified. <clears throat> on October 11, he posted on Instagram, responding to what he called a subliminal message from Nelly. The subliminal message in question is when Nelly posted a photo to Instagram, it said, it's called a career, and in it you have ups and downs. Some never have ups themselves, so technically they never had a career. They were just a part of someone else. Hashtag facts. In response to that, Ali shared the TV special of Nelly crediting Ali for changing his rap content. All right. Hey y'all, y'all might not hear nothing in the beginning of, of that little bit of clip because I have my earphones Bluetooth, so sometimes it don't pick it up. So let me, so, hold on. All right, this is what Ali wrote. Damn, Ali, you're being childish. Why are you putting it on social media, Ali? Nelly's not saying anything he's saying positive. Me? Nah. He just the type to throw a rock and hide his hand. I throw my hand and say, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Nelly, the original hustler since day one. Know that. Always. This is perfect because I've been explaining to Murph, Kawan, and Slow that this was the original hustle. Hustle. They heard me talking yet didn't quite understand. This officially connected the dots. Hmm. All right. Now you see, I read that in the um in the caption, but this way he said said the this. Let me see. If they put it up bigger. All right. All right. This way, Ali wrote to that. Well, here's some entertainment to help you through your Monday blues. Last night, Nelly sent one of his subliminal disses towards me and my career. The truth is, Nelly equal wah, 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 Ali equal the pen. I wrote and he said it, and we sold 10 million diamond. Go to his page. Do you notice that he hasn't said anything about that country album? Well, I'll tell you why, 13,000. Wow, that's how many copies of that album he sold. My career was writing you a career, shaking my head to be continued. It's all, it's all the most grand illusion ever pulled, and it's unraveling right now. And he's mentally suffering trying to hide the secrets. Now let me get ready to drop wisdom off at school. Please enjoy. Peace and enjoy your day. All right, y'all saw what Nelly wrote? It looked a little haggard. You remember they, um, y'all remember uh, he got caught up on that bus down in Tennessee, I believe, a couple years ago, and they found meth and stuff like that, and something about female being held hostage. Yeah, what happened to that story? But yeah, he looked like he looked like he hitting that. All right, Ali wrote, "Black people always want credit for their cultural impact on society. Black people want credit for the things that was originally theirs. Yet when whites take it and make it their own, it's called appropriation." When it's done by your own people, it's called, hold up, my nigga. Yeah, hold up, my nigga. Okay, he put that up. I don't know why they put that up three times, because it's the same thing. But basically, Ali just, um, Ali came with receipts. Um, and that's all there's to it. But you know, stuff is going on in, um, in hip hop, for real, for real. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me do something right quick. Let me do something right quick. Uh, nah, I ain't got it on here. I thought I had it saved. 
But uh, just to piggyback off this with stuff going crazy and help out, so Tiger just officially turned himself in to the police station because earlier, yesterday, it was reported that he abused this white woman. She put pictures up, tag TMZ, and all, all that good stuff. So I will get back to y'all about that later. All right, y'all, I'm going to get off here, and y'all have a wonderful evening.